Hello, Assalamualaikum. In this video, we will understand about the morning sickness. So, what is the morning sickness? This is the nausea and vomiting of pregnancy. During the pregnancy, the amatic reflex will occur. It is also known as the hyperemesis gravidarum. This hyperemesis gravidarum is causes unknown. So, it is mystery. So, this mysterious uh, morning sickness we will discuss in this video. So we can identify the some reason. 70 to 80 percent of all pregnant women to some extent 60 percent women vomiting. This pregnant woman can uh, uh, affect the fetus through mutagens and medicines and food which that will lead to influence the fetus and the amnesis can be possible. But a lot of other factors can involve like low level of oxygen and a lot more things and high metabolism. Some have proposed that morning sickness may be useful from evolutionary point because the fetus development required the immunosuppressive activity and in this way the fetus development easily because it is antigen for female for mother abdominal pain headache fever are typically not present in morning sickness so remember this all things is not involved but the vomiting can occur anyhow let's understand about the morning sickness through graph so the hormonal changes which that lead to morning sickness can be possible because this is the horizontally shows the weeks of the pregnancy while the vertical shows the relative level of hormones. This week 5 to 45 weeks during the pregnancy, the changes of the hormone from the beginning of the first five week, the human chorionic gonadotropin will release from the fetus and this HCG will rise in the 10 to 15 uh, weeks of the pregnancy. And this is the may cause the uh, morning sickness because the fetus produce this hormone for the defense mechanism and against the eating of food and allergens. So this is the climax time, the 10th week can occur the morning sickness while drastically decreased due to the decrease of the human chorionic gonadotropin, while the estrogen and progesterone also involve but it is slightly because the estrogen when rise also cause the sickness we will learn about that but this is the uh, human chorionic gonadotropin will release from the blastocyst of the fetus early development within the 5 and 10 weeks so anyhow the sign and symptom we will discuss the 66 percent of women have both nausea and vomiting while the 33 percent nausea only and 10 to 60 16 weeks of pregnancy subsiding around 20 weeks and 10 uh, percent after 22 weeks so the subsiding means the decreasing when the human coronio, chorionic, chorionic uh, gonadotropin which they are released from the chorion of the fetus of the placenta. So this uh, remember the uh, HCG released from the chorionic chorion of the placenta. The complication uh, can be uh, basically the sometimes abdominal discomfort and complication will lead to varnic the encephal encephalopathy esophageal rupture because the continuously vomiting the low in cereals and high in sugars food can also lead to cause vomiting enhancement oil crops and alcohol as well as meat also trigger the vomiting the hyperemesis gra gravidarum the hypermesis gravidarum is 1.6% throughout the population of the world. The pathophysiology lets understand about short review. For example, 
the hormonal replacement therapy hormonal contraceptive use which that is in the form of injection can be possible increase the estrogen and bilirubin also increase which that will lead to change the physiology and a mess can occur for non pregnant women also whenever the introduction of the hormone like estrogen and progesterone to the blood circulatory system will lead to vomiting it means the increase of the estrogen as well as the human chorionic gonadotropin as well as progesterone is the important causes of the vomiting on the other hand here is the reproductive system of female contain ovary fallopian tube uterine wall and uterus and blood vessel here this progesterone will release from the ovary after the pregnancy in this way it will be entered into the blood circulatory system will lead to relax the uterine muscle and uterine wall and the human chorionic gonadotropin is triggering uh, to the progesterone production and estrogen in this way the progesterone relax the wall of the uterine part also it will target to the uh, prevent the early child birth is very important for relax the uterine muscle so it is also target to the gastrointestinal tract and the estrogen also and this estrogen uh, possibly can trigger but the progesterone will lead to relax the stomach smooth muscle and intestine in this way the digestion will not occur the acid of the lumen will target to the enterochromaffin cell this enterochromaffin cell will release the uh, uh, will release the neurotransmitter bind with the 5 ht3 receptor of the vagal afferent nerve will target to the vomiting center in the brain lead to parasympathetic efferent nerve will lead to trigger the emesis this emesis also occur through chemo cytotoxins during the chemotherapic agent use the relax the stomach and intestines intestines smooth muscle will lead to stomach acid production more and the gastroesophageal reflux disease can be possible and also it will lead to cause the parasympathetic efferent nerve will lead to cause emetic reflux the evidence is of the emetic reflux due to the morning sickness the hyperemesis gravidarum or nausea and vomiting of pregnancy immune system suppress a rejecting of fetus uh, antigen suppress due to the suppression for uh, uh, parasites containing food trigger vomiting like meat and fish etc in this way the fetus development will be possible and inhibit the miscarry because the fetus want to develop and that is why it will be also trigger the vomiting reflux due to the parasitic infection prevention and other things so that is why it is the evolutionary adaptation for prevention of the uh, uh, prevention of the early uh, uh, miscarriage of the uh, early child birth the defense mechanism is the morning sickness may be evolved trait that protect the fetus against toxin ingested by the mother so some women have but some not due to the uh, evolutionary adaptation and some fetus uh, create more immune uh, immunity like uh, defense mechanism and the minimize the toxin exposure during the sensitive course for fetus and mother and in this way the three month vulnerability vulnerability at peak so the women who have no uh, nausea and vomiting of pregnancy likely to more miscarry so it is the prevention of the miscarry through morning sickness that is why the beneficial effect of the morning sickness is the prevention of the early child birth immune system suppress in mothers so vomiting is option for the prevention of the early child birth and normal growth of the fetus if the morning sickness will not, will not occur so the early child birth as well as teratogens as well as other problems will lead to cause uh, and lead to cause abnormality of the fetus and the fetus can be uh, abnormal like different type of disorder and disease 
थैंक्स फॉर वॉचिंग यू लाइक माई वीडियो प्लीज़ मेक श्योर टू सब्सक्राइब लाइक एंड शेयर बाय